Hey everyone, learning target 2.4 is on ice tables. The previous video introduced the idea of ice tables. Those were the more straightforward versions. Uh, everything was fairly laid out. I'd like to show you the more complicated version, um, especially if you missed class. This is one you're going to want to watch. This first example I want to show you is in your notes. We are going to do this in class. Um, so you can either watch this again or watch this before. It's totally up to you. But here we go. There are a couple major differences between this type of ice table and the ice table that um, you watched previously. Um, right off the bat, um, the big changes are we are going to give you less and less information. Um, you are used to seeing an equilibrium molarity. You compare it to the initial molarity, you can find the change, you fill in your ice table and you're done. Well, you're missing the equilibrium molarities. So we are going to have to solve for the change and I'll show you what that looks like. Right off the bat, when you read the question, I always tell myself, look at the ratios. Uh, one, 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 one. That's the help. You'll see why in a minute. The ratios are one, 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 one. The KEQ is 1.5, that's new, we're given the KEQ, and this question says in blue the initial concentration of all four things is 0.5, and we need to find the equilibrium concentration of those two items, and we'll get to that in a minute. So we are going to set up our ice table, I, C, E, line, they are all gases, so we are going to include them all. If something was a liquid or a solid, we would ignore it they're all gases. The initial concentration is 0 0.5. 0 0.500, 0 0.500, 0 0.500, 0 0.500, 0 0.500. So first thing first, we know the initial concentrations of them all. We do not know which way this is going to shift. So we need to find the trial KEQ and compare it to the original or the one that's given. So I've done that already to save some time. The trial KEQ, that's the expression, products over reactants. Plug in the initial data, 0.5s for them all. Obviously that equals 1. So the trial KEQ equals 1. The actual KEQ is 1.5, that's given in the question. Trial KEQ is too small, not enough products. This equilibrium is going to shift right to eventually equal the real KEQ. So it is going to shift right. I would make a note of that. Come on, pen. Sorry. Come on, pen. I would make a note of that, that it's shifting right. The reactants will decrease in value, and the products are going to increase in value. And they're going to increase by the value of x. We don't know the change, we have to solve for it. So, reactants go down with a shift to the right, and the products go up with a shift to the right. Our ice table can be finished by 0.5 minus x, 0.500 minus x, 0.500 plus x, and 0.500 plus x. We need to solve for x. We can plug those new equilibrium expressions into the KEQ. And in red, is what, that's what I did. 0 0.500 plus x, which is products over reactants. I have two of them, so I'm just squaring it. Don't let that bug you. Equals the 1.5. Um, you will not be asked to use the quadratic formula. So the first step in almost every one of these will be to square root both sides. And when you square root both sides, you get um, that. Okay. You basically cancel off the exponents. And then the square root of 1.5 is 1.2247. Um, something that is an absolute huge deal for everybody is almost like the number one algebra trick or 
technique, you just have to be able to recognize this. This 1, 2, 2, 4, 7 is really over 1. So you can cross multiply. And that way you can get all these numbers on the same line. It is so important to do that when you have to solve for a variable. So when I cross multiply, the 0 0.500 minus x goes up. Um, and I can get everything on one line. And it, what is going on here? Okay, the point, sorry guys, this is just moving on. Um, the point five zero zero minus x comes up, and then you get that orange line. Um, I'm going to bomb the 1.2247 in the brackets, and I'm going to get the blue line. Okay, obviously I have this written out. You're going to want to pause this as I go, but the editing in this is going to, moving on. So, now the goal is to solve for x. You want to get x's on the left, you want to get the whole numbers on the right by simple algebra. I'm adding 1, 2, 2, 4, 7 x of both sides. I'm going to subtract 0 0.5, 0, 0 um, from both sides and uh, we'll show you what we get. Okay, I have no idea what's going on here. Sorry. Just strange. Moving on. So, 1, 2, 2, 4, 7 goes to the left side. 0.5, 0, 0 goes to the right side. And that's what I get in green. I can combine the like terms. 1x and 1, 2, 2, 4, 7x is 2, 2, 4, 7x. Believe it or not, um, you haven't done that in such a long time. That's probably the number one error in this type of ice table is forgetting that x has a 1 in front of it. Um, 0.6237 minus 0.5 is the 11237. I'm dividing both sides by the 2247, and I'm going to get a value of x. So it's a lot of algebra. It's going to take some practice, but it's really repetitive. That number is not our final answer. We're going to leave it unrounded in the calculator. Um, this is our change. This is our x. We can plug it back in to the ice table and we can solve for what we're asked to solve for. The reactants were 0 0.500 minus x, so that's what I did. Give us our final answer, 551. That is rounded to the correct number of sig figs. And our products was 0 0.50 plus x. And again, um, I don't think that's a 5. I have a feeling that should be a 9. Let me do that in my calculator real quick. 0 0.500 plus 0 0.0505. 551. No idea what I was doing there. 0.5 plus 0 0.55. Why well, really wreck this? 0 0.500 0 minus 0 0.0505. This is the 409. This is when Mr. Harkness walked in. We can blame him for 5, 0, and then 5, 5, 1. There you go. I'll check that tomorrow. Um, so there you go. Besides me not being able to add, embarrassing, that's, that's how you do the simple ice table. Um, the next ice table I want to show you um, follows the same idea. You're not given any information here uh, at equilibrium. So you need to use some x's. This might be the first video. What is going on with my screen? Um, you're going to need to use x's to figure out the change. So once again, um, ratio is 1, 1, 1, 1. That's important. They're all gases, so you're going to include them all. Um, four moles of each reactant. That's a pretty important phrase. It's not all the species, it's just the reactants. Sometimes it'll say just the products. So you, that's a, a big detail that you have to train yourself to catch. And you're in a two liter container. So off to the side somewhere. You can either show this or not. It all depends on what your prof or your teacher wants. Um, 4.00 moles over 2.00 liters, and 4 over 2 is obviously 2.00 big M. 
So we'll set up our ice table. I C E uh, just the reactants are added. So 2.00, 2.00, and 0, and 0 for the products. Now this clearly has a shift to the right because it's shifting to the side um, where there are no products. So these are going to go down and these are going to go up. And it's x, 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 x because it's a 1, 1, 1, 1 ratio. At equilibrium, you're going to have 2 minus x, 2.00 minus x, and then x, and then x. Uh, you're going to set up your KEQ expression. KEQ is the square bracket thing. I'm not going to write all this out because you know how to do this really well. You're going to plug in your x's, x squared over 2.00 minus x squared equals 2.35. You're going to square root both sides. You're going to cross multiply. You're going to combine like terms. You're going to divide both sides by a number and you're going to get x equals. Then you can plug it in to the ice table and boom, you've got your answer. So the first question we did was very, very similar to this one where all the ratios were 1, 1, 1, 1. I'd like to spend a bit of time showing you what happens if the ratio is not 1, 1, 1, 1. And that's this right here. Okay. So we have a almost identically worded question. We have our equilibrium. Notice the ratio is 1, 1, 2. It's a huge deal. It says initially you've got 4 moles of those two things and or 0.4 moles and 0.6 moles of that product. Um, you are going to start your ice table. They're all gases. You include them all. You can plug in your initial values. You have all the values. You do not know which way this is going to shift. So you have to calculate your trial KEQ. I did that in blue with the blue initial values. I got a value of 2.25. 2.25 is obviously less than 62. So the trial KEQ is too small. It's going to shift to the right to become larger, make more products. So we know when the shifts to the right in green, the reactants are going to go down by 1 to 1, x, x. But the products are going to go up by 2x because of that 2 in the balanced equation. So here's the first time that we're going to have x, x and a 2x. We can fill out our ice table, pretty straightforward. Now those red numbers go into the expression. That's what I did there. 0.6 um, plus 2x squared. Don't forget that squared because it's that. And then 0.4 minus x and 0.4 minus x. There's two of them. That's why that's squared. Again, you're not going to be asked to use the quadratic formula. So you're going to square root both sides. And you're going to get this pink line right here. Again, one of the most number one things in algebra is think of this as over 1, cross multiply, that's going to go up, the 1 goes up but it's just a 1. You want everything on, nice one, on a nice line, that's what the orange line is. You will start to combine like terms, you can bomb that number through the brackets, move stuff to the left, move stuff to the right, I'm doing a few things at once in that green line. So the 787 goes to the left. So 2 plus 787 is your 987x. Subtract both sides by 0.6. That's where the 2.5496 comes from. And again, you're going to want to pause this, and you're going to want to put this in your calculator so you can start building that muscle memory. You divide both sides by 987. You get your x. Plug x back into your ice table. This question only wants us to find the product. So the product was 0.6 plus 2x, done. 1.12 rounded um, 3 sig figs is your final answer. So last video we did the simple ice table with no x's and in this video basically there's a couple more variations of this but if you can do these three there's nothing that um, uh, I can throw at you that you won't be able to problem solve. So practice more of this later.